Hi there, RC Girl here. Today, we have a really fun model behind me. This is the Aero Scout 1.1 meter from Horizon Hobby. This is gonna be a really great option for someone that's learning how to fly for the first time ever. Not too long ago, I was a beginner pilot myself. If you've been wanting to learn how to fly, now is the time. Today, we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna talk about all the features that make it great for your first trainer aircraft. Then we're gonna take it to the local park and give it its maiden. Stay tuned. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Here you're gonna find RC reviews, tips and tricks, run videos, flight videos, and other things related to RC. So if you guys wanna see more, make sure to like and subscribe. Also head over to my Instagram, Facebook, and Patreon. I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff there. Before we dive into the plane, if you are completely new to RC flight, I would definitely suggest investing in a simulator, even one that's free for your iPad, just to get to know the controls. And second, I would watch Flight Test Beginner Series. It sets a really nice baseline of knowledge as you learn to progress in RC flight. I've been flying RC models for a couple years now. I consider myself a big intermediate. I actually started with the Tiny Sport Cub S. I'll put a link to that video up here. This is also gonna make a great option as your first aircraft ever. It comes in two different options, ready to fly, that comes with absolutely everything you need to get you started, including a battery and a transmitter. Or if you have your own transmitter, you can get the bind and fly version. So let's dive on in. All right, so here we have it nice and packaged. This looks like it's our transmitter here. Um, and here's our instructions. So maybe with some other RCs like trucks and cars, you don't need to open the manual that often, especially for a beginner. I would read this cover to cover. It's gonna have all the details for how to program this into different transmitters. You can also register your model. They have a quick start guide here, some safety guidelines. All right, here is everything that comes in the box. You're gonna get your wing here, your fuselage, your tail, your wheels over here. Comes with a carbon spar, all the tools and hardware that you need. Instructions packet, a 3S 2200 LiPo battery with an IC3 connector, AA batteries for your transmitter, a DXS transmitter, a LiPo battery charger, and I think that's it. All right. Our first step is to grab the fuselage and we're gonna snap the wheels in place. Next, we're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. We're gonna loosen this screw here a tad. Then you'll notice here that there is a flat side. We're gonna line the screw with that flat notch. Next, we're gonna grab the two pieces of our tail and the longer of the carbon spars. Insert that into one side of our tail. Grab the aircraft, slide that through. Ta-da! Next, we're gonna grab the two pieces of our wing and the other carbon spar. Make sure to grab your servo cables. Join them together like that. We have our two cables here. Now we're going to connect our aileron leads into these two servo cables here. If you want to use the safe flight modes, you're going to have to do a certain bind procedures with our transmitter turned off. Grab your bind cable, you're going to plug that into the bind port inside the top of the canopy. You're going to then plug in your battery to power up the model. Then you're going to take out the bind plug. Grab your transmitter that is still off. We're going to hold the bind button on the top left of our transmitter while powering up the transmitter and it should bind to the aircraft. You want to have this on stable ground to let it initialize and then you're ready to go fly. So 
So there's a couple of things about this model that make it a really nice trainer. First, you can see the wing has a nice dihedral here. So that's going to be nice and stabilizing for you, the high wing design. We also have nice big tires and tricycle landing gear. That's going to be a lot more maneuverable on the runway versus the tail dragger. You also have this wheel here that is linked to a servo. So you're going to be able to get around the runway really nicely with that. We also have a pusher prop, so it's nice and protected back there. If you land badly, you're not going to get a prop strike and have to replace that. It's also a decent sized aircraft, so 1.1 meter wingspan. It's going to be able to handle the wind better than something like a Sport Cub S, which is a lot smaller. We also have three flight modes, so beginner, intermediate, and experienced flight modes that you can toggle between. In our beginner mode, you're going to have pitch and bank angle limitations. You're not going to be able to roll the plane. And when you let go of the sticks, it's going to auto wing level for you. In intermediate mode, you're going to get some more controls. You still can't roll the plane and it's not going to do auto wing leveling anymore. So when you center the sticks, you're going to have to correct the wings to level flight again. And lastly, in experience mode, you're going to get full controls. Before we head to the flying field, I want to say a huge thank you to our sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative and curious people like you and me. With their platform, you can explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. Whether it's drone flying or aerial videography, 3D printing, logo and web design, Skillshare has classes to fit your schedule and skill level. I recently took a class on learning Premiere Pro and editing a how-to video by Helise Naveas. I use Premiere Pro to edit all my videos, but I was self-taught, so it was really great to go back to the basics from the very beginning to exporting your first video. It's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes. The first 1,000 people to sign up using my link in the description box below are going to get a free trial membership of Skillshare Premium. Huge thank you again to Skillshare. Now let's take the Aero Scout out to the flying field. Here we are at the flying field. We got our Aero Scout all assembled. Our batteries are all charged. Our transmitter is ready to go. If you are new to flying, definitely make sure that you have a nice open space, a nice park where you're not going to crash into anyone. Take note of the direction of the wind. So when you're taking off, you're going to take off into the wind. So we're going to power this up. Make sure always, always, always turn on your transmitter before connecting any batteries to your model. So we're going to turn this on. Make sure that everything is down. We're going to have our throttle kill on. And with this one, there's actually little marks underneath here for your center of gravity. So if you put your finger on each side of the wing down here, you can make sure that the model is balanced. So that looks like a really nice position for our battery. All right, connect the battery. Let it initialize. At the beginning of your flight, make sure you have a flight pattern. I always like to do a couple circles around, try and line up for the runway like I'm going to do a landing, get lower and lower each time, get to know the flight characteristics, get up a little bit high to see the stall characteristics of the plane, um, flip into intermediate mode, test it out, uh, do a couple test landings, so let's take it away. Good. Super maneuverable on the runway too, these big wheels. All right, we're gonna line it up with the center of the runway. Got a little bit of headwind coming from right to left. I'm gonna take off into the wind. I probably said that a bunch of times. And here we go. Nice. Gonna keep a nice flight pattern here. Gonna do some circles. And I always like to try and line it up with the runway just to kind of get a feel for it. Get a feel of the flight characteristics when I'm first flying it. Right now we're still in beginner mode. You can see the AS3X doing some fine movement correction in the air. We're about 40% oh, throttle right now. Okay, let's take it around again. On this next pass, we're gonna do a high speed flyby. So what I've noticed about this one, it takes a little bit of throttling up. You're going to have to throttle up pretty somewhat aggressively because there's not air moving over the control surfaces because of the props. So here we go. We're going to throttle up. That was a full speed, full throttle flyby. 
And I think this is gonna be a really great model for me to learn how to get out of safe mode. But I've been wanting to <laughs> kind of get out of learning to use that as a crutch for flying. So on this next pass, we're gonna flip it into intermediate mode. dead stick right here. Okay, and we're gonna have intermediate mode, which is not gonna do the wing leveling for you. So you can see, if you hold the wing there, it's gonna hold that position. But it still will not let you roll the plane. So it gives you a little bit more control. We're gonna go in experience mode and we're gonna do a back roll. Crazy, I know. Experience mode. Full throttle, go back on your elevator, nice. Then you can put it back into experience mode if you get a little nervous there. <laughs> back into experience mode? I mean, you can put it back into inter beginner and inter intermediate mode. I wonder if RC girl's nervous. All right, so here we're gonna dead stick it here. You can see the glide slope is nice and gentle. So dead sticking is when you have no throttle. up again. A little windy, we had a little crosswind there so you can see the wings moving a little bit. So let's try and land this guy. So here we go, we're about half throttle. Moving into our final descent, I'm going to land in intermediate mode. Crab over here, probably not the best character technique, but we're going to land. Pretty good, I would say that's around, I don't know, what, maybe a seven and a half? <laughs> Four and a half. Four and a half! All right, we're gonna try and do a 10 out of 10 on landing. So we're still actually in intermediate mode, doing pretty good. This one we're gonna do a touch and go, and then we're gonna land. We'll do one touch and go on the first one, land on the second one. Intermediate mode, taking off. and go. We're dead sticked here. Doesn't want to come down. Wow. <laughs> weird wind. We're gonna go around again. Got a weird side wind picking me around. Alright. Try our touch and go again. There we go. Feel better about that. Nice and lined up. A lot of space. Double touch and go. <laughs> touch, touch, go. All right, on this one, we're going for a 10 out of 10 on landings. That stick here, coming into our final descent. Throttle to keep it going. I mean, not bad, not bad. I kind of did a little double flare, so kind of flared, bled off some of the speed, and then did another flare. So they sent Mountain Mike a bind and fly, so all he had to do is bind it to his existing transmitter, which he has a DX9, and He's a lot more experienced than me, so he's gonna show you guys how capable it is. Let's take it away. Let's go. All right, so on this one, we're gonna test the vertical. I'm gonna come around. Up we go! Oh, stall. Huh? All right, so on this one, do you want to do a barrel roll thing? Try a barrel roll. Oh, 
<laughs> yeah, that was the one I struggle with. Take both the sticks. Go the same way. Nice. Touch and go. Touch and go. We're gonna touch. Like three touch and goes. Knife edge. Nice. Here we are inverted. Unverted? Inverted. Nice. Arrow Scout goes upside down. I'm not super good at doing upside down. And a landing. We're going for a 10 out of 10 on landing. Nice. 9.5. 9.5. Sweet. Yeah, so why would someone pick a um, pusher prop over a more traditional non-pusher prop? Well, the benefit of this pusher prop is that you're not worried about prop strikes. So if you land badly and your plane tips over, it's not going to hit the prop. So your prop is protected back there. So you can see if you came in and did a landing like this or like this or any way, there's not really a way for this to hit the ground. So it saves your prop. Yeah, it's fun. It's just like the first plane I learned on, but cooler. All right, there you have it folks, the Aero Scout from Horizon Hobby. This is an amazing trainer. If you're looking to fly RC planes in 2021, this is a really great model for you to consider. This one comes with everything you need to get you going, including transmitter and battery. Really fun to just kind of goof around with, train myself out of safe modes. So definitely doing some tricks with this one. Super easy assembly. I'll put links to everything in the description box below, so check those out. Huge, huge thank you to Horizon Hobby. As always, huge, huge thank you to my patrons on Patreon. I'll see you later. <laughs>